What's up guys, I'm Caddy here and today we guys a brand new top 5 but what we're going to be doing is running through the top 5 potential new items that I would love to see in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Now there may be one or two of these you may already know because I've already talked about them in streams or something like that but I thought let's get a list together and I can give you my top 5. So without further ado, let's start at number 5. So at number 5 we have got the Hidden Ability Capture that which will allow you to unlock the Hidden Ability for that Pokemon and change it to that. We already have the Ability Capture that allows you to change between the two normal ones but nothing to do with Hidden Abilities just yet which I know this sounds a little bit weird but basically my thinking on this is that it solves a lot of compatibility issues. So for example Gliscor, it can learn Defog but only in Gen 3 and it can't get Poison Heal at Gen 3 because it's a hidden ability, it comes later on. So you can't run Defog plus Poison Heal. So being able to get these sorts of combinations would be really, really cool. Freeze up things like League Play, freeze up the movesets a lot more as well. Same with Clefable, you can, can't run Unaware plus Soft Boiled, you have to run Moonlight or Wish. So these sorts of combinations would be really nice. Though to be honest, if we are going to get Unaware Clefable with Soft Boiled, maybe it's not the best idea in the world. So at number four, we've got a very silly suggestion. I couldn't resist putting this in somewhere. We've got the Poker Beer. This will be a held item that drops the user's evasion and also accuracy by one stage, making it easier to hit. And also, a lot of your moves are going to be hit missing from there, which I think will be absolutely hilarious. What you can do then is you can trick that item onto Pokemon and make them drunk and make them miss, which I think will be absolutely hilarious. At number three, we have got the Guardian Shield, which is a single-use consumable item that I would absolutely love to see. How it would work is it would allow you to switch into entry hazards without any negative effects whatsoever, just once though for that battle. So it would be great, you could pair it with Talonflame, switch into rocks, not take any rocks damage, and then proceed to go for the acrobatics, doing a huge amount of damage. It may potentially make things overpowered, but it could be a really cool nerf to Stealth Rocks and also Spikes, so I would really like to see this happen. So at number two, we've got the Padded Vest, which works almost identically to the Assault Vest, but it boosts the user's defense instead of special defense, which would be just absolutely insane. I know I've got a pitch there with Tita. Considering how great Tita's spe uh, special defense is, to actually then get a physical defense boost as well would just be absolutely insane. It would obviously have the same thing where you can't use any support moves, but it would just give a bit of a balance to that, and I think it could be really, really cool. So at number one, we have got the Mystical Rock. This is definitely by far 100% my number one pick. If I could have any one item, even if there was no other items in the game, I would want the Mystical Rock. Now you may be wondering, what does this do? What it would do is it would extend Trick Room from five turns to eight turns, which would just be absolutely insane. Very much like the Heat Rock or the Damp Rock for Rain and Sun. What this would mean is that Trick Room teams actually become properly viable. You guys know I'm a massive fan of Trick Room. And, you know, they work to an extent, and I must admit, it, you know, they're not the top, they're much more gimmicky than actual competitive, but I would just love to move Trick Room from that gimmicky phase up to an actual proper competitive phase, and it would be so, so cool. Well, there you go, guys. That was my top five items that I would love to see in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Let me know what items you would love to see, and I will see you guys at the next one. Akadi out.